in terms of uh, coach, uh, he watches the tape on his own and he'll come in to the offensive staff meeting with his ideas and what he likes and what he sees. And I'm there to uh, be eyes as well as ideas. So during, sure. during the week, we're together, you know, putting in ideas and things that we want to do, how we want to attack, uh, things of that nature. Um, and then on game day, um, you know, giving him a spotter, if you will. Yeah. You know, what's the down and distance, what hash. Uh, and then in between a series, because he flips over the defense, uh, just ideas in terms of what they're giving them. You know, ultimately, uh, coach, you know, he makes the calls and, and he calls the game yeah. through a feeling of what he feels and what he sees. Uh, and then at halftime, uh, we, we all come together and uh, he'll, he'll lead it in terms of uh, ideas and suggestions. He'll ask us what we see out there. And how, how we should attack, what they're giving them, mm -hmm. you know, what pressure, what coverage, things of that nature, and um, and then I think he kind of puts it all together to 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 ultimately call the game. I know that you're a worker, so I'm just wondering, yeah. what have you I guess tried to take out of this? Man, learning a whole lot. Uh, I went back and really self scouted myself, you know, mm -hmm. as a coordinator, and uh, over the last two years, two and a half years, what have you, uh, looked at myself and how I can be better because I know you know, I have another opportunity and. Um, we just went back and looked at myself and what I could be better and new things and you know that kind of thing. At the same time, uh, focusing on his offensive unit and the wide receiver group as, as in particular, uh, and making sure those guys are are prepared for the game and, and playing to the best of their ability. Uh, that last game, you guys had a big first half offensively, mm -hmm. and that's kind of been a theme. What did you like? What do you? What was like your takeaways from the second half, and why do you think it changed yeah. the way it did? Oh man, just just pointing at different things. You know, we had some issues that got unfortunate in terms of uh, snaps when we got down the red zone and really cost a touchdown. You know, the one that, that Bayless ran in and, yeah. and scored. So that was a missed opportunity there. Um, and then later in the game, I thought they did a good job of keeping us off the field. And we get the ball back at the end with the opportunity to do a two-minute drive, start moving the ball, and, and it ended how it ended. But you know, the previous drives before it was. Uh, you know, just one thing here or there, whether it was in the run game or whether it was in the passing game, mm -hmm. uh, a, a costly interception on the first down. You know, he had a defense on the field for a long period of time, throw a pick on the first down, yeah. and the defense is right back on the field with a short field, right. and they get points. Um, so uh, those those momentum swings and things like that uh, is how I felt upstairs. <laughs> I didn't feel like we had the ball a long time yeah. to um, – sustained long drives like early in the first, the first half yeah we, we sustained long drives marched the ball down the field converted the fourth down and led to a score we were on the field longer i just felt like in the second half uh, i thought we weren't on the field as long as we whether it was a turnover or whatever it was uh to sustain the long drives and put the ball in the end zone to ultimately help us win the game coach ellis used that same term before about momentum and kind of how it can really kind of escape you at times yeah. You guys seem to really have a hold of it for an entire half sometimes. And then, like, why do you think you lose it in a, in a half? After, you know, coming out of that Just throughout time? the course of the year, I, I'm not going to just say it's one thing. It's just, oh, yeah. It's just been different, you know, throughout the course of the year. Then you have games like Arizona State where you come out and score 21 points in the second half. Yeah. You know, and so, sure. um, you know, um, I can't say what it is. I know mm -hmm. Texas game, I felt it. Sure. We're moving the ball, having an opportunity, then we don't make it in on fourth and one on the goal line, momentum swing, and we rough the punter, momentum swing. Mm -hmm. That would have been another short field with an opportunity to get some type of points mm -hmm. in that situation. And so it's kind of been that way. You know, early in the Utah game, we had the momentum. Defense touchdown, big play with Pittman, and then they score, momentum shift. We get a three and out, interception backed up, short field for them, they score and we never captured it again. So yeah. it's been a, 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 a deal where we got to get it out of our system. We got one more game to do it. Sure. Thank to you. you uh, I'm on Raw. Mm -hmm. It seems like he's been so polished, but where have you seen him improve over the course of the year? Uh, 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 the, 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 his comfort level in the system asked a lot of him. Early in the year, he's primarily an outside receiver where he was in rotation with Tyler and Michael Pittman and those guys. And then you saw the emergence of him. We started off on third downs with him being in the slot. We just saw how comfortable he was in the slot. So ultimately him winning the starting job uh, in the slot. And now he's to a point where he's playing inside and outside in all of our packages, whether it's three wides, four wides, uh, 12 personnel, so on and so forth. He's now comfortable playing any place you put him. Um, 
and doing everything at those positions. And so uh, it's, it's, it's not normal for a young guy to be able to do that. I uh, really hadn't seen it uh, since uh, since I've been here. I hadn't seen it. Mainly, I've tried to keep those guys in one position, whether it was Juju or Nelson or who have you. Uh,